this isn't just a very sacred time of year for the Christians. So one thing that is a common thread throughout this time, through all the traditions and faiths, uh, is really that it's an honoring of light or the light, but in different ways. So, for example, yesterday on December 8th, Buddhists were celebrating a holiday that is known as Bodhi Day. Now, it's not really a celebration of like the Buddha's birthday, but one could say it is sort of a celebration of the birth of Buddha because the word Buddha is not actually the man's name. It was actually a title that was given to him. The historical man who became Buddha, his name was Siddhartha Gautama. Right. And what Bodhi Day actually celebrates is Buddha's enlightenment, or I should, rather I should say Siddhartha's enlightenment, right. or becoming, awakening to Buddha, which means one who is awake. So the, yesterday's holiday celebrates that day for them. So it celebrates the enlightenment of this man, or it really celebrates a um, what we could say is... Uh, the light of consciousness arising out of the darkness of Maya or illusion, which is like the non-reality of identifying with this world and awakening to the truth of reality. Now, tomorrow begins the festival of lights for those of the Jewish faith, or what is known as Hanukkah. And now in a couple of days, or maybe I should say a couple of weeks, Christians and Catholics around the world will be celebrating one of their main festivals and holidays, which is known as Christmas, which celebrates the light of the world, which came in through the man known as Jesus or Jesus Christ. Right. And long before the birth of the Buddha, long before the birth of Christ, many traditions around the world were celebrating something known as the winter solstice which occurs on December 21st. And the solstice was actually, both the winter solstice and the summer solstice were actually considered very important days. And there are many temples you could find around the world that have been built so that uh, on those days, the sun aligns perfectly with these temples and so on and so forth. But what is amazing about the winter solstice is that it is the shortest day of the year. So it's the day when the light is the uh, least. Uh, being brought to our planet, but that's not what they're celebrating. What they're actually celebrating is that every day after that, the light gets progressively longer. And so they're actually celebrating, uh, the ancient peoples were celebrating the rebirth right. of the sun god or of the light, this light that was coming back to the world. And one of the main reasons why they were honoring it and celebrating it is this increasing light brought life back to the planet. So it re brought um, that gave rebirth to the flowers and the plants, which gave food and sustenance to them. So it was a very important time, and they were honoring the light through this winter solstice. And so, therefore, the oldest ceremonies were ceremonies and holidays or festivals that were uh, honoring the physical light that was brought to the world through maybe, a, you know, the sun or the star, which exists out in the universe somewhere. But he slowly began to evolve into festivals and holidays that began to honor the light that was brought into the world by divine beings, which is a very interesting sort of concept. But really, sadly, a lot of that has been forgotten. And today, if you really talk about this season, many people think of it in terms of materialistic sort of things, yeah. just as like gift giving and who you're going to go out and they have a long list of people they got to buy all these physical presents and things for. But really, that's not what this season is calling us to do. It's not really, it shouldn't be something that is just a celebration and festivals of gift giving. Not that gift giving is a bad thing, but that shouldn't be the primary focus. And it shouldn't be a time that we are just celebrating the light that's coming into the world from like some distant place out in the universe. And it really shouldn't only be a time that we honor the light that was brought into the world by great wisdom figures or enlightened beings or divine beings, but really it should be a time for us to contemplate and remember that that light is also within ourselves.